I always had uh, depressive modes um, in my late teens, but I had my first full-blown manic episode while I was taking the bar exam in 1992. I could be manic for three days and then dive down into a deep black depression for a week. In 2019, Letitia began to wrap its cycle and was very irritable and argumentative with all around her, including her daughter. She and I got into a big argument and I took a whole bunch of um, heart blood pressure medications and just anything I could take, I, I could take. And the ambulance took me straight to Trinitas here. She was treated at that time and, and just stabilized and, and sent to outpatient. Um, but her symptoms still continued. She has this tre treatment resistant form of uh, mood disorder and um, it's, it's been a challenge to have her uh, symptoms stabilized. In May of 2021, I started to get depressed. Depressed, but I'm talking black room, no windows, depression. It was at that time that Dr. Malik suggested electroconvulsive therapy, known as ECT. But the concept of uh, electroconvulsive therapy is there's small electrical currents that are administered to the patient, which triggers a seizure. Um, and that is thought to change the brain chemistry to uh, treat some of the, uh, the imbalances and um, the symptoms that the patient is experiencing. I knew about ECT, what everybody knows about ECT, which is all the, the stigma around it. How, how what you see in, on TV, one flew over the cuckoo's nest, uh, homeland. Um, but it is very different now than it was prior. Uh, ECT is, is a procedure that is done under general anesthesia um, which uh, the patient is, is asleep and, and given a paralytic so they don't feel it. While reading some literature given to her at Trinitas, Letitia read an article about a book co-written by Kitty Dukakis talking about her mental health issues and her experiences with ECT. There she gives a play-by-play -play of the ECT treatment. In the book, she said Michael Dukakis was in the room with her. She opened her eyes, and the first thing she did was look at him and smile. And she hadn't smiled in months. But she said, oh my God, it's going to work, because she smiled. That gave me so much hope. It absolutely gave me my life back. ECT did no question and i only take one medication now latuda as opposed to five or six that i was taking doing nothing to me there's no irritability no impulsivity no chaos no rage no anger dr malik saved my life twice i say twice because the first time was when he put me on depico when i was in the psych ward when he had me committed now because I go for my ECT sessions usually on Fridays, and he does them on Fridays. So I equate him with my savior <laughs> because he's given me back my, my stability, my... You know what it is not to have a hint of mania or a hint of depression? And, and someone who was a rapid cycler, that's... that's, that's unheard of. I, I, it's, a, it's such a blessing. It's more than a blessing. It's, 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 I, I, I want to tell everybody that I meet, you don't understand, this really does work. This, this is okay. It's, it's better than being on a whole bunch of medications that then are not working.